Hi everyone, Eugene Sachs here with another review from GameCritics.com. Orbody, Binder's Tale, puts players in control of Binder, an orphaned robot in a run-and-gun platformer that will take them across the alien world of Orbody. Players will be able to jump and shoot through each level to obtain power-ups, defeat enemies, and end each area with a boss fight. As players defeat bosses, they will unlock more of Binder's powers to help them proceed, things like a double jump or a slide. It's obvious to see some of Orbody's inspirations from games like Mega Man or Contra, the movement of the character, fighting enemies and bosses, shooting chests for power-ups, and the pixel art style all remind me of NES classics growing up, and it brings some wonderful nostalgia to the table. But for all the good memories it brings, Orbody also comes with many frustrating elements from the old titles it's playing homage to. Classic NES-style action platformers require a level of precision with the controls. Many old-school gems require absolute mastery and precision to survive, and it's a wonderful feeling to nail it. However, Binder's Tale does not have any of that precision. There were multiple occasions where the game wouldn't recognize a button press, leading me to death. The hitbox for some projectiles are also quite fuzzy, so I couldn't always be sure that I was safe and this hitbox seems to be different from the same type of enemy in different areas, so it makes it doubly hard to get a good feel for things. While I did enjoy the pixel art style, there's also some serious issues with the color palette. For example, one level is mostly purple cityscape, but there are enemies that fire projectiles of a similar shade, so they tend to get lost in the background. I died several times, not realizing that there was a bullet coming my way. This is even more annoying when in another level, an entire enemy blends in completely with the background. The most egregious issue, though, is the lack of any type of save system. At the moment, players must play through the entire game in one sitting. If a player loses all their lives on a level, they can continue and start from the beginning of that level. If players quit the game, then they must replay the entire game from level 1. There is no password system to jump to a later level, nor save states to start from. While the whole adventure may only be 5 levels long, the difficulty is steep enough that it's tough to get through all 5 levels in one sitting. While it looks like the developers are working on this currently, that point alone makes Binder's Tale an extremely rough play. With all that said, there's an itch that ore body Binder's Tale is scratching for me. I enjoy classic run and gun games, even with their old school difficulty. Unfortunately, the lack of quality of life features, imprecise controls, and poor color choices mean this one is currently a difficult one to recommend. For me, Orbody Binder's Tale gets a 4 out of 10.